the History Buffs and welcome back to the channel. On this day, the 26th of July, 1588, 4,000 men were gathered at Tilbury Fort to defend their Queen and country from the Spanish Armada. But how did we get there? The Spanish Armada, also known as the Most Fortunate Fleet, or, sorry for the awful Spanish pronunciation, La Feliciama Armada, was an invasion of England by King Philip II of Spain, former King Consort of England and brother-in-law of Queen Elizabeth I. This grand fleet had about 150 ships and 18,000 men, and at the time was the largest fleet ever in Europe. Much like the Titanic, it was ironically seen by Philip as invincible. And yes, I know the Titanic was supposed to be unsinkable and not invincible, but you see where I'm trying to make the irony link, right? Please don't be that person. Just don't do it. Nobody likes that person. For years, religious and political tensions simmered between Catholic Spain and Protestant England. Fueled by conflicting interests and ambitions, Spain viewing England as a rival in trade and expansion into the lucrative new world of the Americas, eyed its growing power with suspicion. England, in turn, coveted Spain's vast empire and wealth, leading to a series of confrontations between English pirates, privateers and Spanish vessels, deliberate targeting of Spanish ships by English sailors, such as the infamous burning of more than 20 Spanish ships by Sir Francis Drake in Cadiz in April 1587, exasperated hostilities. Cadiz, yeah, Cadiz, not Cadiz. Meanwhile, attempts by figures like Walter Raleigh to establish English colonies in North America met with repeated failure. However, tensions escalated in 1587 as plans for invasion gained momentum. The tipping point came with the execution of Mary, Queen of Scots, a staunch Catholic ally of Spain and on the orders of Queen Elizabeth I. This act was the last straw for Philip. The Spanish fleet set sail on the 12th of July, 1588, and was spotted off the Lizard in Cornwall on the 19th of July. It was on the 19th of July that Francis Drake was playing his legendary game of bowls on Plymouth Hoe, and when he was informed of the sighting, he responded that, there is plenty of time to finish the game and beat the Spaniards. But of course, how much of that is fact and how much of that is fiction, we just don't know. Elizabeth, who was at Richmond, was informed of the news of the Armada on the 22nd of July. But she didn't panic, much to the admiration of her advisers. Her favourite, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, gathered 4,000 men on the 26th of July at Tilbury Fort in anticipation of the arrival of the Armada. He orchestrated a blockade of ships across the Thames. The Spanish were not to get through. Dudley invited the Queen to inspect his troops at Tilbury. And the great English weather, which is still prevalent today, did not fail this tiny country. That, coupled with the efforts of the Navy, was enough to overpower the Spanish. Elizabeth would make her infamous speech at Tilbury, boosting the morale of the troops. However, unbeknownst to the Queen and everyone at Tilbury, the Spanish Armada had already been defeated. Oops and the remaining Spanish ships were sailing home. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a wonderful day. Bye.